Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, got a little bit of Gerald Lavert. The late Gerald Levert, and he's singing, I'll give anything, I'll do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, I was driving along a highway and one of these California Fire Department vehicles was speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down. So when I had the double, uh, not the double, but the checkered line to pass, I passed the vehicle up. I had to speed up to 65 miles an hour. And as I'm trying to pass him, maintaining my speed, he speeds up. So I increase my speed so I can get in front of the moron. And he brings the fire truck across the double, well, now it's double yellow. He brings the fire truck across the double yellow into my lane. Now it's a two lane highway. Now y'all know me, I don't play that. So I took the car to 75 and then pulled in front of him. And then I looked at him in my rearview mirror because I have to tell myself to calm down because I'm getting ready to block the entire road and stop him and put him in his place. But then I say, hey, hey, you forget who you is? You're a Jehovah's Witness. You don't play that. You don't do that. He doesn't allow you to be stupid. So I let it go. Now, I told you guys about the story. I had a friend. His name was Tori. And we we're on the freeway and somebody cut me off. Now, my thing was, you cut me off, I would pull in front of you and I would apply my brakes like I did to the police officer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tori said, why don't you just let it go? And ever since then, I've been just letting it go. So when I get home, I'm conducting a meeting because we have our SATCOM meeting that night. And it actually happened about a month ago this day. Ladies and gentlemen, they pulled by the house, the fire department, they're 10 miles away, 10, 10, 10, 10 miles away. They pulled by the house with the little side light, and it's about 5 p.m., and the side light just turning dusk, and they're shining it towards the house as they pull by ever so slowly, less than 10 miles an hour. And then I thought about it. I said, because of where I live, these fools could get somebody to set my place on fire and I lose everything. Insurance covers only but so much. So I said, nah, you got to report this. You cannot allow that to go unreported. So I reported it to them. So they, when I called them, I actually spoke with the fire marshal. Lord have mercy. You have no idea how surprising I was that the fire marshal <laughs> called me back. And we talked, and they asked me if I could just go and file a report at this location, and I did. Ladies and gentlemen, I explained to them the whole situation. They asked me did I have a vehicle number. I said we were doing 65 miles an hour. No, I didn't get a vehicle number, and if I had stopped, it would have been an incident. So to keep it from being an incident, I kept going home. <sighs> well, this is their response to me. Now, mind you, hold on now. I said, but however, I gave you the time of day, I gave you the highway, and I gave you the station number. I said, your people have to log in and out every time they take a vehicle out of that particular building. I said, so whoever is the driver is the one I'm complaining about. 
you guys keep those records. This is their response. The Professional Standards Program received your concerns in our office on December 1st. So it would have been November 30th. Regarding an incident you had involving a CAL FIRE vehicle and the driver of that vehicle, PSP, Professional Standards Program, has documented all information received and has completed an initial review of your concerns, meaning they conducted a mediocre re investigation. Based on the information we receive, we are unable to identify the vehicle or the subject. Thus, the nature of your concerns does not indicate a type of misconduct which would warrant administrative investigation by the PSP. The matter is now considered closed by the PSP. Thank you for bringing your concerns to our attention. You know, at this point, I wanted to say, Mother, <clears throat> excuse me, whew, I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, the original small claims video, the introduction to small claims video that was supposed to go up for our people on Tuesday has not rendered. Um, this thing says it's waiting in queue. It should have been done already. Give me a second. Let's do that again. It should have been done already. So I'll have to contact the company about these problems. I might go to I'm, I might have to go and use a different software if they're not going to, you know, take care of business. Because I ain't got time for this type of business. You know, do what you're supposed to do. Um, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm working, still working on a document. The I have uh, one document I do have to finish. I'm working on that now. That is the document that is known as the small claims document for those of you who are going to be taking the DMV to small claims. Now, I'm going to give you the process, not the whole process, sorry, because it's the process that I gave to SATCOM and AMCF and the EAM Foundation. Basically, by getting insurance on your vehicle, no, 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 not regular auto insurance, on the actual title to the vehicle, you now take the DMV to court. Why? Because they're holding your MSO, or MCO, excuse me, MSO. They're holding your MCO. Now, they're not allowed to hold your MCO. Why? Because that's your property. The MCO shows whom the owner is, whoever possesses the title. That's why they tell you, don't let anybody else get a copy of your certificate of title. A certificate of title is not the same as the actual title for the property. Okay, a certificate is only prima facie evidence. So because they gave you only prima facie evidence and not the original, and they will not allow you to get the original when you do an affidavit of lost titles, you're going to sue them for denying you access to your property. Now, they can't tell you that that's not your property. And the question is, you simply ask them, are you telling me that that's their property and it doesn't belong to me? Show me in the law where it says it in the Constitution that they get to keep my property. Go ahead. Show me where they get to keep my property, and I'll show you a bunch of lying mother <clears throat> people who are sitting up here pretending to be government. That's basically how you guys will handle that, okay? Now, look, I can't give you everything. This is for our people, okay? Our people. Not your people. Our people. But we're going to put the document out there for you guys. All you got to do is read it. It tells you what you need to say. Just doesn't tell you the whole process, but it tells you what you need to say. Okay? So, I'm working on it for our people and for you guys at the same time. Okay? They just get more information than you get. Sorry, because this is for them, not for you guys. This is being given to you guys as a courtesy. So, it will be finished in a couple of days. Uh, I do want you to understand you email me, you're not going to get a response regarding this particular document. I will let you know when it's time to get my attention regarding this. Ladies and gentlemen, I got genuine. We're going to do genuines when doves cry. That's what's playing now. Then we're going to play superhuman because I got to get my son superhuman. And we're going to play some anxious and some stingy, okay? And only when you're lonely, okay? Now, y'all, those of y'all who know and differences, okay? Now, y'all know, if y'all know who Genuine is, y'all know the songs I just mentioned. 
I'm not going to too much play ghetto, you know, uh, but I can only tell you I'm about to genuine this afternoon because I need this right now. So I give Genuine his credit, and then we're going to do the Genuine, Tyrese, Tevin Campbell, and so forth with the, the best man that I can be, that type of thing. All right, so I got to go, but y'all have yourselves a good day, a nice day, and I hope everything goes all right for you. Take care of yourselves, people. Arrivederci. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take y'all back to a Mandela moment. Mandela Effect, I want you to pay attention. Listen to how this song starts off. Now, I'm going to stop that right there because this is Luther. This is his song. But the song supposed to start off one look in your eyes and there i see all that okay but that's not the way the song goes i don't know what luther doing to me i don't know what luther doing to me y'all all right we can go to another song and we ain't gonna we're we gonna turn ourselves down now say say you make up your mind We're going to let that be in my background. Ladies and gentlemen, I just, I'm going to splice this video with the other video that I just finished. I was talking about the Los Angeles sheriff, I mean, not sheriff, but fire department. And what you guys don't know, the area I live is a rural area. And there have been three fires in this area. Well, actually four altogether. Is it four? One, two, three, four, five fires since I since I got here. Um, none of them, at least three of them, they had to call the helicopters in to put them out because it could have been devastating if they hadn't. But each of the fires in this area has taken them 45 minutes to get to the location, with the exception of the property that had a permanent foundation. 45 minutes. Now, I want you to pay attention. The fire department, I've, I've literally done the mileage, is seven minutes away from my home. Seven minutes at regular speed. Seven minutes from my home. All of those properties that burn are closer to the fire station than my home is. 45 minutes every single time. There are firemen at the station 24 hours a day, 45 minutes every single time to get to a fire over here. But if you go four miles down the road, they get there in less than 15 minutes. But when they're coming here, whoo wee okay? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Chet Baker. Time after time. So we're going to let that play in my background, but I just need to let you guys know the reason why I'm taking this time to talk about this. Because when the intelligent person tried to literally force me off the road, I'm considering that as attempted murder. And I told them that. I said, you people want to play? You want to say that I didn't give you a valid complaint? Then fine. Let's go to court and let's have you defend yourself there. You guys got attorneys? Oh, that's right. We're going to go to small claims court. Oops. So, now that we get that taken care of, they asked me to give them more information. I told them, when I was 16 years old, they brought me in to help work out policies for certain government agencies. I said, I know for a fact that your drivers have to log in and log out that vehicle every time they take it away from the station. I said, I know this for a fact. I know that nobody can get into that vehicle who is not authorized to get into that vehicle. And when they get in the vehicle, they must document that they're the ones taking the vehicle out. Not just for insurance purposes, but for policy purposes. Well, sir, not all of our vehicles, miss. Please don't do that. 
stupid I used to be. Never. But what I do know for a fact is that since you're saying not with all your vehicles, that's why I did the Public Information Act request. On a state level, it's called public information. Their logs are public information. So y'all want to play, then please accept this amended uh, Public Information Act request. Let's pull the log. Since you guys said you did an investigation, since you said you investigated my serious concerns, well, let's see what the investigation entailed. Now, let's see if you guys have logs, because if you had logs and people signed in and out, then we'll know who has that vehicle. And once we do that, then we'll know whether or not you guys lied to me when you said you conducted a review. Since you want to play with me, all of a sudden, remember they said they'll be, it was closed, they considered the matter closed and they'll be going no further? Well, all of a sudden, now they want to do an interview. Because I might have more information. I said, oh, no, 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 I don't have any more information. I said, I was very detailed when I explained what occurred. I said, so no, there is no additional information. See, I've already been through that. Oh, uh, well, it, it seems like you're providing us additional information. No, 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 no. That's what the stupid, um, what is that stupid thing called? Uh, Federal Reserve attorneys did. Now, I'm getting ready to take the Federal Reserve to court, too. We, we got to go. They, they got to go to court. They, they need to go to court because they're blocking my access to my, my funds. And eventually, I'll, I'm taking everybody to court. Told y'all this is the year of the court. Year of the court. No, the year of the court is not a 365-day thing because court cases don't end in 365 days. Okay? Who'll be this? Kelly Clarkson. She sang in um, Ditna. All right. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I am sick and tired of these rudimentary idiots working in these government buildings who think they're smarter than the average cucumber. I mean, even the one that I just spoke to, the person who worked for the fire department, she called me up and talked about, well, you sound like you're a pretty intelligent person. What does intelligence have anything to do with it? You mean to tell me if I wasn't an intelligent person, I wouldn't have rights? I didn't say that to her. Okay. They thought that they were going to be talking to some punk. And it was my job to literally tell them, by the time I get finished, you will understand who I am. Because I'm getting ready to introduce myself to them. So I told them it's time for a formal introduction. And I will do everything legally to make sure you understand who I am. And I would love for them to play with me. Ladies and gentlemen, again, my job is to make the path easier for the next person so that the next person doesn't get to go through the same stupidity. Okay? They're going to have to do a whole lot more stupidity of responding to people before they come at somebody like this again. All right, got to let y'all go. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on. Got to go. Hey, thank you, Kelly. She's saying, didn't she blow your mind this time? Didn't I? Got to go.